Ultra running has changed my life because it's given me the permission to do something unique. Ultra running is weird just by definition and a lot of people, myself included, will call it crazy or stupid because <laughs> who willingly will put yourself through 20 hours of running. But that being said, it's translated to the rest of my life where I don't feel constrained to do something just to make money. There is really no money in ultra running at all. <laughs> I've learned that it's okay to, to do something purely because you love it. And I really, really love running. <laughs> the runner's high can be translated to any activity I think someone's passionate about, where you're just in a state of flow. You're so inundated in this activity that nothing can distract you or take away that endorphins high. And ultimately, I'm the only one making me run. <laughs> And if I'm not having a good time, it's no one's fault but my own. So remembering that and thinking, just like, get back in it, Claire. Who cares how fast or slow you're going? Because there's nothing better than that flow state. I studied ocean acidification's impacts on baby coral specifically, and it's horrific. And it's all because of climate change. So when these storms hit, they're way stronger than before, and huge hundred-year-old corals are getting toppled over way more than in the past, where they would be more resilient. And the biggest thing we can do is, is combat climate change, and that it starts with electing leaders who are committed to 100% renewable energy from a local level, a state level, to a national level. And then there's you know the slew of things we can do as individuals. It has to become a practice, and we need to have legislation built around combating climate change. So when we look at ourselves, it's like, okay, I'm not a senator, I'm not a president, <laughs> but I do know people on Boulder's city council. Are those people talking about it at a local level? You know, how are we committed to 100% renewables? and talking to them and just asking questions I think is, is something that this country really needs to move the needle because if your town switches to 100% renewable energy that will be a way bigger impact than you offsetting your flights. So yes, while that is still good and while composting is really good and buying food locally and buying responsibly is really great, we need to change the system.